Project Chagon, Test 1004, was the first Soviet commercial thermonuclear explosion. It took place on January 15, 1965, at the Semipalatinsk test site, Balapan site, Kazakhstan, 100 kilometers southwest of Semipalatinsk. The explosion took place in a borehole with a diameter of around 700 millimeters. Before you watch this video, I'm going to ask you to support my channel with a thumbs up. It won't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me and my channel. Thank you. Background in March 1962 the Minister of Media Machine Building received a report of nuclear physicists on the necessity of starting work on studying the possibilities of using nuclear and thermonuclear explosions for technical and scientific purposes. Each point of the program was detailed and made a very realistic impression. In 1962, the Soviet Union launched a large-scale program of peaceful atomic explosions. More than a dozen ministries were involved, Minsred Mash, Min Gazprom, Min Eftaprom, Min Yugolprom, Min Energo, Min Svetmet, Min Vodkaz, and others whose orders were used to conduct the explosions. As conceived by Soviet scientists, funnels from nuclear explosions could serve as very convenient water reservoirs, such reservoirs would accumulate spring runoff, while the small evaporation surface and melted bottom would allow one to store water for irrigation, cattle breeding, prevent salinization of areas, etc. For Kazakhstan, it was planned to create about 40 artificial reservoirs with a total volume of 120 to 140 million cubic meters by means of nuclear explosions on ejection. Physicist Ivan Turchin, an experimental tester at the All Union Research Institute of Experimental Physics, NEF, was appointed head of the Chagan project. To implement the project, it was necessary to perform a clean nuclear charge with reduced residual contamination of the area. The Chagan project was conceived as similar to the U.S. Project Sedan 104 kiloton thermonuclear release explosion, produced on July 6, 1962 at the test site in Nevada, it was the world's first commercial nuclear explosion. However, during the creation of the thermonuclear charge, NEVE specialists achieved a higher level of its purity 94% against 70% of the sedan device. This meant that 94% of the energy of the explosion was provided by thermonuclear fusion reactions, which do not produce radioactive products. The explosive device with a power of 170 kilotons, the power of a nuclear explosion in Hiroshima, about 20 kilotons, was a container with a diameter of 86 centimeters and a length of 3 meters. It was laid in the floodplain of the Chagan River, in a well 1004 at a depth of 178 meters. On January 15, 1965, at 5.59 and 59 seconds Greenwich Mean Time, the charge was detonated. In 2.5 seconds after detonation a cloud of red-hot gases began to form, in 5 minutes it reached a height of 4,800 meters. The explosion threw 10.3 million tons of soil to a height of 950 meters, forming a crater 430 meters in diameter and 100 meters deep. Rock debris weighing thousands of tons and earth blocked the riverbed. I have never seen such a beautiful spectacle from a nuclear explosion before, although I have seen quite a few nuclear explosions in the air," Turchin later recalled. Contrary to popular belief, the Chagan explosion did not violate the 1963 Partial Test Ban Treaty, which prohibited testing in any environment other than underground. Radioactive Contamination there is information that the cloud from the explosion covered the territory of 11 settlements with a total population of 2,000 people. Calculated thyroid gland doses for those who lived in the most contaminated territories in the first year and a half after the explosion constituted more than 14 rem only, at an exposure limit of 0.5 rem per year or 5 rem in 50 years. Gamma radiation levels in the pile around the crater were 30 rentgen slash hour by the end of the first day after the explosion and 1 rentgen slash hour 10 days later. The level of contamination at the bottom of the crater, measured March 26, 1965, that is, two months after the explosion, was from 150 to 400 millirentgen slash hour and was almost two times lower than along the edges of the crater, the bulk of the radioactive products of the explosion concentrated in the surface layer of the rubble. About 20% of the radioactive products of the explosion entered the atmosphere, 30 to 40% in the bulkhead. In the spring of 1965, the Chagan riverbed was connected to the funnel by a channel, 
which was built using conventional chemical explosions and excavation equipment, the calves of bulldozers that performed the work were protected with lead sheets up to 5 mm thick. A total of 182 people worked in the contaminated area, but there is an opinion that there were about 300 workers. The Deputy Minister of Health of the USSR set for them a planned emergency dose of 30 Rentgen, with a norm of 5 Rentgen per year. According to official data, of these 182 people, 121 received a dose of up to 3 Rentgen, 37 received between 3 and 5 Rentgen, and 24 received between 5 and 9 Rentgen. None of the workers are believed to have received a dose over 9 X-rays. According to published recollections, almost all participants of the work suffered from chronic diseases after working at the site. The water in the lake comes from the Shagan River, a tributary of the Irtysh. It is often referred to as the Atomic Lake. The volume of water in the lake is approximately 100,000 cubic meters. The area of Lake Chagan is 5.92 square kilometers of the lake. The volume of water is 19.1 million cubic meters. Depth about 100 meters. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.